Hi beauties, welcome or welcome back to Aloft Aloft. Today I wanna to share with you my finger coil takedown method. Like any other style, I am starting with my hair sectioned into four parts. Now I think my takedown method is easy and simple, but that's probably because it's the same process that I use for most wash days. Plus, you know I love easy and simple. Now I think this is much faster than going through each strand or coil and separating them individually. I also think that it's painless and plus it doesn't pull my hair and I also think it minimizes breakage. I've had this style in for over a week so at the end of the video I will show you how much hair I pulled from my tangle teaser. Now I'm going to start in the back section which I've split into a smaller section and I'm going to wet that hair with warm, no actually it's hot water. In this spray bottle I have hot water. So I'm gonna wet this section and get it soaking wet with the spray bottle. And as many of you know, when working with any style to detangle, it's always best to work in smaller sections and soak the hair. So once I get that wet enough, I'm gonna go in with my favorite pre-poo, which is by African Pride. And as you can see by looking at the container, it's almost empty, which means I actually use this. And because it has a lot of slip, I have to say that a little bit of this product goes a long way. Now once I'm sure that I've gotten my strands covered with my pre-poo, next I'm going to use my tangle teaser. And of course I'm starting at the ends of my hair and working my way to the root. As you can see, the hair is starting to separate and uncoil very quickly. Now, imagine how long it would take for me to do just this small section if I were to do just with my hands instead of actually using the tangle teaser. Another reason why I also like it is because when I run into any snags or any other tangles, the tangle teaser doesn't, again, pull my hair or break my hair. It makes it easier, especially that I'm using the pre-poo, it makes it easier for me to get through those tangles. Now I'm going to repeat those same exact steps. I'm still working on the first section, so I'm gonna split that again into a smaller section. Then I'm going to soak my coils again with a spray bottle using the hot water. Then after that, I'm gonna apply more of the African Pride Pre-Poo. Then I will finish it off by detangling and uncoiling my strands with a tangle teaser. Some coils throughout my head are larger than others, so you will see me applying more water as needed after I've put on the Pre-Poo. Now, as I said, I've had this style up for over a week. I did not separate any of the coils after initially doing the style, so that is why I have some larger pieces throughout my head than others. If we didn't go to the beach and didn't spend a lot of time outdoors this week, then I would have separated them and worn them a little while longer as a loose coil out. But after being at the beach, it was definitely time for me to wash my hair and get rid of the sand. Now, if you have seen my previous videos, then you know I love the Tangle Teaser. And I think you can see for yourself just how smooth and quick this process is going as far as me taking down these finger coils. I feel if I were to do it in the shower or even do it by hand, I would have missed a few coils. And plus, I know doing it this way, my hair is fully detangled. So I won't have any issues when it comes time to actually wash my hair. Now, if you're liking this video so far, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comment section how you prefer to take down your finger coils. Do you use your hands, a comb, or even any other styling tool? Now, for those that may be wondering about my install process or how I actually did my finger coils, well, I decided to do the removal takedown video first before uploading the process. I really don't even know if I'm gonna actually upload that process and the reason is because there are so many videos already out on youtube that show you how to do finger coils and it pretty much covers all of the various hair types but one thing i was surprised about was that there aren't many videos showing the takedown process 
and I didn't see any that are showing this exact takedown process. But if you want to see how I did my finger coils, or if you want to see the actual video, then just let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. All right, we are on the very last section, the final few pieces. Now, don't worry guys, even though I did speed up the video process a bit, I'm still taking my time detangling my hair. I'm not rushing through it just because it's at the end. I know we tend to get a little impatient when we get almost finished doing something to our hair, but I am taking just as much care with the last pieces as I did the very beginning pieces. But that still doesn't change the fact that the tingle teaser the Tangle Teaser, my apologies, made this process super fast, easy, quick, and painless. So once again, I'm gonna show you guys how my hair looks fully detangled, and then, I, as promised, I will show you at the end the amount of hair I pulled from my Tangle Teaser. Now this is my hair fully detangled, all finger coils removed, and as I said before, I can't stop saying it enough, that this is truly a quick and easy process. It took a while to actually finger coil my hair, but the removal was, again, fast and painless. Now, this is how much hair I pulled from the Tangle Teaser, which, again, is the only tool that I use to detangle my hair. And considering I haven't combed my hair in over a week, really almost two weeks, this small ball is actually great, in my opinion. Now it's time for me to wash and restyle my hair. And as always, thanks for watching.